Hello there. A couple of years ago, I painted a fabric armchair, and the video has been pretty popular. It's had about 100,000 hits on YouTube so far. But one thing you all seem to want to know is how it's bearing up now. So I thought I'd do a little bit of an update for you. So this is the chair in question. I've added a nice colorful scatter cushion as well. And as you can see, it's in pretty good order. Now, bear in mind, my daughter uses this as, uh, well, a playground pretty much every day, jumping on it, sliding on it, scratching the surface. So really, considering it's pretty good, there are a couple of scuff marks, but my plan is to just paint them when the monkey grows up. And you couldn't really do that if it was uh, a pale gray fabric. So, a very successful project. So if you want to know how to do your fabric armchair with chalk paint, well, here's the tutorial now. Now there's a little bit of a joke in our family that unless something is moving, I'm likely to paint it. But my latest project has even come as a bit of a surprise. So my Nana, this is Nana, was uh, clearing out and decided to get rid of this chair and wondered if I'd like it. Now I've been wanting a lovely bedroom chair for a while, but this isn't going to go. The colour is not the right scheme for my bedroom and there are a few stains as well. So I looked into getting it reupholstered because I do love to, uh, to support these age old arts, but it was going to cost upwards of £700 and I'm not sure the chair was even worth that when it was first bought. So instead, I've decided to paint it. I've never painted fabric before. I have done my research though, but I have to say I am a little bit nervous. So what I've got here is a Rust-Oleum chalk paint uh, in winter grey. I just happen to have this left over and I know it goes to the bedroom, so I'm going with that one. I've watered it down in a kettle, just add a little bit of water um, to make it easier to spread onto the fabric. You need a water spray to dampen the fabric first. And I've got a big chunky Annie Sloan brush as well. So I better get on with it. I started off by following the advice to spray the fabric with water and then use watered down chalk paint, but actually found that dipping a brush into water and then into neat chalk paint worked just as well. And actually it meant the fabric didn't get quite as wet, so it didn't take as long to dry. Remember to get into any of the creases because when you sit down on these, they're likely to pull apart and show the original colour. In the end, I found using a stubby stencil brush was best for getting into these and also for the piping. Just to prove how easy this is to do, I even got my young apprentice in on the job. And now you can just imagine I'm dreading the day I walk in to find her painting my husband's favourite leather armchair with a big grin on her face. Do you like painting? Yeah! <laughs> it's going to happen, isn't it? <laughs> In between coats, it's worth leaving for 24 hours because remember, it's not just the paint, but also the fabric that needs to dry before you do the next coat. After the first coat, I could still see the pattern underneath, particularly in areas where I'd watered down the paint too much. But I found that two coats was enough. And uh, of course, this will be very dependent on the fabric and the color that you use. Before waxing, it's worth sanding with a very light, flexible sanding pad and then brush any dust away. So the final step was to put two coats of Ron Seal Interior Wax in white ash on it and I have to say the result has completely surpassed my expectations. So I'm thrilled with it. I think it just looks like a really plush grey armchair for my bedroom. And now I know some of you were a little bit dubious about this. So I have got the ultimate tester here, my own little monkey that I made earlier. Thank you very much. We'll put those dirty pyjamas away. Bunny. Now, I think I am actually happier about her doing this on this chair that I've painted than I would be had it been upholstered in a, a pale grey fabric. So you can jump about on it for a change. I'm oh, just quite comfortable, chilled out. So there you go. So I think my coaching tip for today is uh, don't listen to the naysayers. If there's something you want to do and people are telling you you can't, give it a try anyway. There's no such thing as failure, only feedback. And the feedback's been pretty good on this chair. So that's it for today. And See you next time.